Meanwhile, history will have to wait until at least the weekend. Yeah, the launch of the SpaceX rocket ship from Cape Canaveral, Florida, was called off, with less than 17 minutes to go to the countdown due to lightning. The two NASA astronauts heading to the International Space Station, Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley, will try again on Saturday. Benkin is from St. Anne. He graduated from Pattonville High School and WashU. After today's scrubbed mission, he tweeted, I'm so proud of the NASA and SpaceX team today. They were ready for launch. And he also said that Doug and I will be ready for them again on Saturday. Hashtag Launch America. New tonight at 9, one local man says he'll be watching when leaders try for a new launch date this weekend. Fox 2's Patrick Clark talks with the brother of astronaut Gus Grissom about history being made. The historic SpaceX launch set for Wednesday will have to wait until Saturday, scrubbed because of the weather. And you can guarantee that Lowell Grissom will be watching. It's very exciting uh, now that we've got uh, an American-made rocket and, and a spacecraft that's going to be launched from American soil and with two American astronauts, one of them with St. Louis ties. It's, uh, it's the only thing it can make it any better is a safe and successful flight. His brother Gus made American history in outer space. Virgil Gus Grissom was a member of the Mercury 7 astronauts, a respected World War II and Korean War pilot, and Project Gemini an Apollo astronaut. He was killed in a fire during a pre-launch test along with astronauts Roger Chaffee and Ed White. Gus was uh, chosen as one of the original Mercury astronauts. He uh, made the second uh, suborbital flight. Uh, he became the first American to go into space when he made the first Gemini flight as command pilot of that. And uh, he was scheduled to go into space for the third time as commander of the Apollo 1 spacecraft when the tragic accident on, a, on the launch pad happened. We always had just had one black and white TV but when a launch would happen, we would have three TVs there, and they'd be on all the different stations. Gus spent the summer of 1964 here in St. Louis when they were building the Gemini spacecraft, and uh, he actually had as, uh, enough to do with it, the design and manufacture, that they ended up calling it the Gusmobile. Lowell Grissom says his big brother would be interested in how lightweight the SpaceX and NASA spacesuits have become, compared to the early days of the space program. Lowell and his son John will be watching Saturday's potential launch, the first from United States soil since 2011. And he'll keep his brother's memory alive of all that he accomplished and who he was in a short lifetime. I think Gus would probably say uh, it's about damn time that we got uh, an American spacecraft uh, with a uh, man uh, from American astronauts in it. I think it's a, it's a matter of national pride that uh, we have things that we can look to that, and people that are heroes. It's, we don't have so many heroes anymore, and, and we need those. Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News.